This is the second longest running race on the continent. Now, most cars are going to run it on gasoline. This car, the Bentley Continental GT3, is going to run it on biofuel. So why is Pikes Peak so iconic? I mean, it's a little obscure but it's a big deal. I, I think it's the adventure and the challenge. Um, you, you can go to a traditional race course and your targets are almost gonna be the same all the time. You've got loads and loads of information. You, you come here and you're not just challenging the course, you're challenging the weather patterns and everything. It's a risk factor. If you're gonna get rewarded by what the weather is gonna give you, um, but if you get it right and you've done your homework as we have done and proved to be so fast in practice, um, if everything goes right on race day, the reward is unparalleled to any event in the world. Tell me what this runs on. This is a very special type of fuel. It's not gasoline. Yeah, this is a biofuel that we're running here and it's part of you know, the green um, touch element that the program has been born from. Um, you know, with the future of the automotive industry going to electric, this is an alternative for any standard combustion engine car that currently exists. You would have seen last year that we announced our Beyond 100 strategy. So as a brand, we really bought into a, a, a renewable future. We also recognize that it's going to take quite a few years, you know, for the world to develop and for, you know, battery electric cars to become, you know, really commonplace and usable, etc. And so we see um, renewable fuels as an alternative that could be used, you know, in parallel with electric electrification um, as a way to allow both you know the customers who are buying our cars today cars like the W12 or the V8s to continue to use these cars as well as customers who've had their cars for many years and what a, a renewable fuel does is it it allows you to um, to, to basically you recapturing CO2 from the atmosphere whether you go via you know bioethanol or whether you go via proper CO2 capture like a real e-fuel it allows you to to generate a fuel that that you know, is not bad for the environment and so we start to look at that and we're really using this as a, as a bit of a test bed and a launch of that strategy um, for Bentley. So. Tell me specifically about this car. Uh, what we've done is we've taken a standard GT3 race car um, and then we've, we've upped that a little bit. In the rigs here, <laughs> you're allowed a little bit more downforce. So we've got about a 30% increase in, in overall downforce from this car. You know, really mixed up against what the regulations are, allow you to do. And then we've done a lot of work on the engine, particularly to allow it to run well in this type of environment. So the real challenge here is to be able to get your power both at, at the start and then yes. right at the top as well. And so We're talking really, what elevation change? But yeah, it's a good 6,000 feet of, of, of elevation change. And yeah, that's a particular challenge for, a, you know, for an engine. So we've, we've done some work on the, on the engine. We've added some more, you know, some more injectors and a bit of water injection as well. And that enables us to keep it cool and keep it running all the way to the, to the top. biofuel make any difference in the way that the car handles, accelerates, drives? Uh, there was some small mapping things because this is a race engine uh, that the engine calibrator had needed to do. But outside of that, the performance of the engine, there's zero loss. It's absolutely amazing. It depends on the specification of the fuel. So li like with a standard fuel, you can specify fuel and you can blend them up to get the performance that you want. So of course, Pikes Peak is very special. You're high altitude, you're running a turbocharged car here. So we're looking for a, a fuel that we can blend up to be a race fuel, but still with a very high percentage of renewable content in that. And that's really the challenge for okay. the challenge for this. And then, yeah, we, as time progresses, we think we see that we'll be able to get fuels that are blended to match what you want um, in your road car as well. So. I love that. So the idea is potentially this fuel could be run in any Bentley on the road. The ideal for us eventually is to have a fuel that is the plug and play to your standard fuel specifications. And obviously for a for a race type car, you've got different types of fuels. So at the moment we, we, we're testing both in the in the road car side and in the in the race car side. You get different blends of fuel and you know different sources and. Um, you know, depending where it comes from, you can get certain percentages of renewability. And you know, as that technology evolves, you know, we think it's a great opportunity for people to be able to run their combustion engine cars and still be good for the planet. Okay, so what's next for Bentley? That's, a, that's an interesting question because you know, whatever we do um, from a motorsport side, we really want it to be part of our, of our Beyond 100 strategy. So we're looking at various options 
you know, for motorsport in the future, um, and also for you know for our road cars as well. So um, there's lots of there's lots of opportunity. We're working really hard on you know on electrification. We've got some really fascinating cars coming in the next in the next few years. So look out for them. And there's a broad spectrum of what Bentley can do. And this is really trying to demonstrate that bit more aggressive out there edge of what Bentley is. It's Bentley not is just about. the queen. It's yeah. also about racing. Yeah. We, we can go from that complete absolute luxury end of the spectrum right up to you know the sporty end. We've got a heritage in, in motorsport, and we want to show you know want to show everybody that we can cover that whole breadth of, of what Bentley is and, and continue to do that in the future. And as we electrify and as we go forward, you know we continue to want to have that breadth of, of, of our brand. So from Pikes Peak, this is behind the wheel. For more, follow us on your favorite platforms.